Good day, folks. It is about five to nine in the morning here, and I'm heading out fairly early. I just pulled off the main highway, and I'm heading down a little road here. I got a few spots I want to check out today. Not quite sure what I'm going to get myself into. Metal detecting, bottle digging, definitely going to do some exploring. I've checked out several locations down this road here before. I got a couple other locations I want to check out too as well. Interesting areas. Anyways, quite overcast here today. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but you never know. Hopefully we don't get rained out. So anyways, I'll let you go for now and I'll get you up on the first uh, interesting situation that I find myself in. These old hardwood ridge there. Lots of birch trees. Okay folks, I'm at uh, one location here. I parked down there and I'm heading up this way through the woods to actually get to the location I was intending for. But just coming through the woods here now, I see this here. See, I got my metal detector here, but I hadn't had it turned on yet. So I don't know what this is. There's a big piece of metal here. There's something that's been there a long time. It's stuck down in there, whatever it is. Well, that's a root growing through it right there. That's why I can't get that out. So that's kind of interesting. Shotgun shell. And I see there's a downed apple tree right here, too. Let's just have a quick look around right here. Well, there's a piece of glass right there. Oh, my. That's old. That's old. Huh. This might be some sort of property line along here. Look, there's more glass here. Manganese, look how purple that is. That was like a mason jar. Nice, there's a piece of pottery. There's a top there. Finish. Oh, there's all kinds of glass through here. Don't see anything whole here though. Might be worth scratching around in though. Might be something buried in there. Anything else right here? There's barrel ring. Metal barrel ring. The other end of it. Yeah, very cool. Oh, look. Check that out. That would have been sweet. Huh. More barrel rings up and through there. All right, this might actually be a half decent spot to check out. I'll get you up if I find anything. I'll scratch around a little bit. There's more pottery there. still scraping around in amongst these rocks here and it looks like I might have something right here doesn't look like anything too fantastic well it is a cork top uh, it's just a contents bottle probably one of those extracts or something okay that was right down in the corner of that rock well, at least it's a whole bottle. I didn't get skunked anyways. <laughs> There's those pottery pieces. Alright, I'll keep scraping around. Well, still at this lot here, folks. This here just come out. I've still got all the nails still in it. Square nails at that. Old horseshoe. Checking around the area and looking for stuff. Well, I headed out at 5 to 9, folks, and it's 20 to 11 now. And here's the cellar hole on this lot right here. I just locate it. This is a corner right here. Stretches up that way, over that way, down, and then back this way. So there you go. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but there it is. Lots of big rocks down in it, too. Lots of trees growing out of it. Okay, so. Got another target, folks. I got digging around, and I was pulling out a bunch of glass. And this here was the target. Not 
sure what it is. It was like a headlight or a lamp of some sort. But anyways, this here lens come out of it. And it says Jefferson. And then it's got a couple numbers there. 911 maybe. Yeah, it looks like Jefferson 911. Anybody got any ideas on that one? That lens would have went right in there. Alright, mention it down in the comments if you know what it is. I'm going to keep scraping around and in amongst these rocks there could be more stuff here. Check it out folks. We're still on the same uh, empty lot here. And I'm on another, looks like a, another rock property line. On a different corner of the lot. Here's a bunch of glass here. Here's some manganese stuff. Cool milk contains something or other. Looks like a big measuring cup or something. It says coffee. I see the word coffee right there. Anyway, it's just manganese glass, so that's old. There's a piece of carnival glass. Looks like somebody's been here before and piled the stuff all up. There's a dark piece of manganese glass. Look how purple that is. More barrel rings. Lots of shards. Um, here's something. This here looks like a little ink. Oh, it is too. Manganese. It does look to be manganese. Appears to be machine made. And it's not embossed. Well, that's a okay little find, I guess. People like inks, that's for sure. Probably worth a couple bucks to the right person. I'll take it and put it in a lot of bottles, see if I can get rid of it. Well, here's this piece here, folks. I did bring it home, and as you can see, it's embossed down there. It says Jefferson 911. And this turns out to be a 1920s Model T Ford automotive early kerosene headlamp lens. So that's pretty cool. Kind of glad I kept it and brought it home and checked it out. Alright, well let's get back on site and continue exploring around. Maybe we'll find something else interesting. Well, not having much luck here, folks. Did just uh, find this here, though. This looks fairly old. And what the, does the base say? Uh, it's like French or something. Vitel Grand Source Source Sali. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to look it up. Just the same. Probably get out of here soon. Go check another location. Okay, I just pulled over right there, folks. I've seen some debris up in here. It all looks more like modern. Well, not real modern, but anyways, I didn't think I was going to find anything. I got scraping around here, just moving stuff around. I haven't even got my gloves with me. But I just uncovered this. That is a blown medicine bottle of some sort. It's just a slicker, but it's a good indication that there might be some older stuff in here. I'm not going to play around too long today right here. I'm right in the open and i got other places to go. So anyways, I just thought I'd get you up and show you that real quick. Stop and check places out. Hello folks, me again. It's 20 to 12 here now. And I just came upon this patch of glass in the woods. And I'm in a completely different location here now. I'm not sure if somebody's gathered this all up and put it here together or not. But it's got uh, kind of a greenish bluish color to it fairly old I'd say now this one here I already picked up and looked and that is manganese glass faintly you might be able to see that down around the base there now this little cruet here that's manganese glass as well 
Kind of hard to tell on this lighting. There's another piece there too. There's a milk uh, glass there with the base busted out of it. But I might take these two. They are old. Looking at it around, I don't know, probably 1915. I'm going to keep looking around in the woods here, see if I can find anything else. Get you back up if I do. So I'm back at the spot where I just I found those two uh, little bottles there, some of the manganese glass. I got my shovel this time, started scraping around here, and I got a, something sticking out here. So let's go ahead and pop that out and see what it is. Okay, just another little jar. It's an early one, this one's base embossed. What the heck does that say? Blue ribbon. Can't tell if it's manganese or glass or not. Anyways, I'll hang on to it. Check it out. Okay, folks, now we're getting somewhere. Just scrape this one here out, too. Little panel side cork top. Still got the cork in it. A rubber style cork base embossed TP company keep that one too and check that out all right let's scrape around in some more here and just flip the miniature crew out of the oh it's a base it's a uh, shoulder embossed as well it's a perfect Products, please curve it. Huh. Miniature one. That's pretty cool. Check it out. Yeah, I got a nice green colored one showing there, folks. I'm going to see if I can kind of flip it out without breaking it. Probably just a blank soda or something. Yeah. Consumer glass mark on the base. So after 1918, I'm guessing it's from the 20s. That's what this other stuff seems to be from as well. But still, there you go. An old uh, bottle. 